Kansas waterfowl hunters face a challenge as duck hunting progresses through zone openings this fall. In a year of record high duck populations, hunting is limited in many places by dry conditions. Currently, the best open areas are Cheyenne Bottoms and Jamestown Wildlife Areas and Kerwin National Wildlife Refuge in western Kansas. Popular eastern marshes in the late and southeast zones open October 29th and November 5th, respectively. Managers at eastern marshes have been working against nature all year to produce food and water habitat for migrating ducks. Monty Manbeck at Neosho Wildlife Area near St. Paul predicts tough hunting unless rain comes soon. We've got a few ducks, but the water conditions and stuff are just so yeah. bad and the river levels and stuff are not very good for this time of year. Very untypical of what we usually have. So um, River levels have been lower this year than I've probably seen them in my five years that I've been here at Neosho Wildlife Area. And for waterfowlers, that may not necessarily mean good things. So um, we, uh, at this point, we're struggling a little bit with with uh, getting water into the marshes due to the low river conditions. But uh, hopefully, we'll see some rain in the near future and uh, be able to get uh, water in the marshes before season starts. Carl Cairo has battled similar problems at Meridicine Wildlife Area near Pleasanton but he's cautiously optimistic about hunting there. So we've got several marshes that are in really good shape. Uh, we've got a few marshes that are a little bit weak, but that's kind of typical too. Uh, the river is, is uh, a little low. We're not able to take all the water that our pumps are capable of taking, but I still believe we're gonna uh, be in pretty good shape by the, the time uh, we have our opening season here uh, in the late zone. Uh, we're pretty optimistic that we'll be in good condition and, and ready to go. Uh, there's going to be a lot of choices. Hunters are going to have to scout and find those marshes that uh, the birds are using at that given time and, and has the kind of habitat that the hunter prefers to hunt in and, and uh, get out there and get after them. That's the best way to, to find the birds. Finally, Kirk Thompson at Benedictine Bottoms Wildlife Area near Atchison has fought the opposite problems due to Missouri River flooding. In the Benedictine Bottoms area here, we were underwater for three months. Uh, in late June, uh, the water started seeping under the levee and uh, filled the area up. About 70 to 80 percent of the area was underwater, and it was underwater until about oh, the late September. And uh, we were not able to get in even to check anything in the wildlife area here until uh, late September. The protected side of the levee, we're in pretty good shape. Uh, we didn't lose much vegetation, and where, where we lost vegetation was in the low areas. And we have some uh, barnyard grass and some uh, good native plants that are coming in in those areas. But we're in pretty good shape on most of the area, and the waterfowl hunting should be real good this year. Kansas wildlife parks and tourism managers have done their best to provide good hunting this fall, but the weather was an overwhelming factor. Check the weekly status of your favorite Kansas marsh on the waterfowl reports by region on the Kansas Wildlife Parks and Tourism website. Good hunting. I'm Mike Blair for Kansas Wildlife Parks and Tourism.